Okay, back again. New video, new titles. Let's get through this, shall we? It's Blue Ernie on my channel again. Hope you enjoy all the films I've got to show from you. From the cheap ones to the dear ones. Let's go for it. These are what I picked up in the past six weeks. Um, CEX in Lancaster. We're doing a lot of films for a quid, a quid and a half each. So I thought, well, why not? They're only cheap. If they're no good, trade them in. First one I got was Vinnie Jones and Dolph Lundgren in Hard Rush, also known as Ambushed. Now, I've never seen it. I've heard they're only in it for 20 minutes of the film all the way through. But for the pound, I'm not moaning. It's not something I'm going to keep because it's not something that's on my list to watch and keep. I'll watch it once, get rid of it. That was Hard Rush. Right, uh, the next one is Jonah Hill and Russell Brand. In a semi sequel to Forgetting Sarah Marshall, we are talking Get Him to the Greek, the unrated extended version about a rock singer, rock god who's called Aldous Snow, which is Russell, Russell Brand. And Jonah Hill has been sent from America to go and get him and take him back to the Greek theatre for a reunion concert. I've never seen it, I've heard it's pretty funny. I'll give it a go. And for £1.50, it's a no brainer. Next up, is the remake of a 1980s classic from 1980 starring Leslie Nielsen and Jamie Lee Curtis. The original, I went to see it on a double bill with a Halloween. We are talking prom night. This is not the original, this is the PG 13 rated remake. I've never seen it, I've heard it's not good, I've heard it's not great, but I only paid a pound for it, so I'll give it a go. If it's any good, I'll let you know. But Let's give it a go. Eh? Next up for £2. It's come out in the late 90s, early 2000s. Brad Pitt, Harrison Ford teamed up together to do a political thriller um, where Brad Pitt plays an IRA terrorist on the run from England and Ireland being chased by the police and everything. And he goes to New York and stays with a police officer who's played by Harrison Ford and his family and he gets, because they're Irish descent so he takes this Irishman in not realising that he is an assassin and a terrorist we're talking of The Devil's Own I've seen it once it's a very very good film Brad Pitt, amazing in it, Harrison Ford is great so for two quid or two pounds on that morning we'll give that a go next up it's a sequel to a slasher film from the early 2000s called I Know What You Did Last Summer, which was all right, not a lot of bad one. Hark back to the old slasher days from the 80s. I enjoyed it. He did a sequel uh, called I Still Know What You Did Last Summer with all pretty boy people and girls. And it's set on a Caribbean island. But 90% of the film, it pisses down the rain all day and this killer going around killing everybody. For £1.50, what can you say? Let's go for it. Right, next one. I went into a cash generator, which is like a pawn shop. Not pawn as in pawn, as in you buy and sell games and films and everything. And I, the first film was Brendan Fraser. And it was called Journey to the Centre of the Earth. Or whichever, and it was absolutely crap. Shit. Rubbish. The sequel starred Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Michael Caine. We're talking of Journey to the Mysterious Island. They go back. Now, I enjoyed this when I first seen it. I watched it in 3D, and there's a bit where Dwayne throws his spear, and it comes right. It's really frightening. It's good fun. But I enjoyed it. I only paid 99 pence for it, so I'm not complaining. I'll give that a go again. That's a double disc as well, by the way. Right, I've seen this a couple of years ago, based on a bestseller from New York. Um, it stars Sissy Spacek. Let me get the names of these people. Sissy Spacek, Jessica Chastain, Viola Davis, who's amazing in it, and Bryce Dallas Howard. And we're talking The Help. Set in the 50s, during the Mississippi era, where there was a lot of racial tension and everything, and these black maids, all these women have got rich husbands, and they basically need maids and nannies. And it's about the maids and the nannies, and it's a really funny film. It's also very serious, but it's absolutely great. That's an amazing little film. Love it to bits. And I only paid two quid for it, so good good bargain. Next one is a British film that came out. I think Shaun of the Dead meets Aliens meets 
whatever other science fiction film, horror film you can see. It, uh, now, the, the, the black guy who's the lead actor, the young black guy, is now in the new Star Wars film, The Force Awakens. He's playing the hero character. We're talking about Attack the Block. It's basically about a group of feral teenagers hanging around this housing estate. The, Nick Frost is in it from Shaun of the Dead and Mr Sloan and everything. And basically all these aliens land in London and they want to take over. And these aliens are big black things with big white teeth. You know, it's, it's pretty scary in bits, but it's funny. And they basically want to save the block. It's good fun. Really good fun. Great British film. Absolutely amazing. And I paid two quid for it so another happy days one next one up we have a thing called Poundland in England so all my American friends um, where everything's a pound and they had the two disc extended and uncut version of Will Ferrell's Anchorman for a pound a double disc one now I've, I've seen half of Anchorman 1 I didn't like it but I thought for a pound I'm going to give it a go and try and watch it because to be honest with you, I fucking hate Will Ferrell. Apart from Elf, he's shit and I don't like his films. But for a pound, I'm willing to give it a go. So, that was not bad. I went to Fleetwood recently as well, which is near Blackpool. And while I was there, there was a market selling loads of films for three quid and two quid and five quid and everything. And I picked up Stanley Kubrick's uncut, even though it's a 15 certificate, it is uncut, full metal jacket. Great Vietnam film. Well, the first half is all training. And Ali Emery is amazing as the sergeant, drill sergeant. Matthew Modine and Vincent D. Onofrio as the psychotic one is great in this too. It's funny for the first part, also brutal. Then it starts going to Vietnam and etc. And the Vietnam scenes were all filmed at London Docklands before it all became trendy. So never any of it was filmed abroad. It was all done at London in the Docklands, and he makes it look like Vietnam. Classic, classic 80s film, Full Metal Jacket, three quid, bargain. Got three more to go. Next one is another World War Two film starring Daniel Day-Lewis, Daniel Day, not Daniel Day-Lewis, but Daniel Craig and Jamie Bell. And um, Li Live or Liev Schreiber, and it is Defiance. Daniel Craig plays a Polish... World War Two victim and his brothers and basically they become heroes while the Germans invade their Polish town they get as many people as they can and they take off into the woods and they hide in the woods for years surviving through winters and everything and they become heroes and it's a cracking film made from the guy who did Blood Diamond it's a really really good movie and I only paid £1.50 for it so that's Defiance good worth checking out if you can Right, the next three, this one I ordered on Amazon. Now, it was very rare a couple of years back. I've got the box sets, I've got everything to do with it, but I've never had this. It's a four-disc set. I paid £2.95 for it, plus £1 postage. It's John Carpenter's Halloween, the definite edition of the horror classic. Now, I've got Halloween on numerous, I've got box sets, the new one a lot, but this is a four-disc, 25 years of terror and it's got a comic inside it as well that comes with it all about michael myers and dr lewis and it's four discs it's got documentaries it's got film convention footage everything and it's quite hard to find now you can get the two disc everywhere but this one's very hard to find and i only paid three pound for it basically two pound 95 and i love halloween love michael myers and he's a great character i love the film scared the bloody hell out of me but great and happy i got that one uh, next up, I did a little mini review a few weeks back on um, most films that are not talked about a lot. And then I put a little thing on the end of it about the Video Nasty here in England. And I watched I had a film called Video Nasties Video. And it's a documentary on all the Video Nasties that were banned and everything. Well, they did a sequel. Nucleus Films have done a sequel called the Video Nasties Definitive Guide Part 2 The Draconian Years. I've not watched it yet, as you can see, it's still shrink wrapped. Because I plan to watch it, and then I'm going to do it, might be in two or three parts because it's quite an in depth video. If you're interested, let me know, comment, or send me replies on 
the video nasty area because I grew up in it. I was a victim, you know, I was arrested and everything. <coughs> I had my house raided and all my stuff took away and investigated. <coughs> I do apologise. So I'm going to be doing a big video coverage on the video nasty era talking about it so that one's i paid 20 pound on amazon for that and it's very very hard to get hold of it's limited to 666 copies and my number is 2987 so that's video nasties the draconian years <coughs> can't allow that coughing and when i went for my civil partnership few years back <coughs> I got married as they call it we went to Italy to Sorrento and while I was there I treated myself to the Indiana Jones box set at the time because it came out on DVD now in England number two which is the Temple of Doom has always been cut the bit where the guy puts his hand through the man's chest and rips his beaten heart out and explodes into fire and all other bits and the burning them and all sorts is all cut and it came out uncut in Italy and I picked it up which I've still got but recently we've got it out it's been released worldwide uncut back in the UK full version but it's 30 odd pound 40 pound to go everywhere to go it's not come down in price in any sales I was on Amazon like I said when I bought the Draconian Years Video Nasties and they had the Italian five disc box set of the Indiana Jones Blu-ray set for English money for £16, which is pretty cheap. So I thought, I'm going to have a bit of that. So I sent off for it. It turned up last week when I was on in my holiday house in Ingleton, Yorkshire. So I've not watched it yet, but they're all shrink that. But I know what the films are. I've seen them all. The worst ones are Crystal Skull. It's crap. It's rubbish, boring crap. But for £16, I'm not complaining. And it's uncut, and it's in English, and it's DTS 5.1 Master Audio. So a big thumbs up from Ernie. Listen, I hope you've enjoyed this little montage of all my latest stuff. Any comments below, I'd love to hear from you or any video reactions or everything. Remember, we're all a good community. We all like films. We're all here for a laugh. So everybody, enjoy what we do. Share our memories with each other about movies because it's worth it. And hopefully I'm going to do that video nasty one coming up very, very soon. Cheers to everyone who supports me and subscribes to me. Ate the shows and ones, absolute sublime, cool dude, everybody that I know. So I'll see you all soon and I hope you enjoy the little video. Thank you. Bye.